I'm going to show you how to find the, um, the arc length of a sector and then how to find the perimeter of a sector. Well, the arc length is like the circumference, but it's only a fraction of the full circumference. So the fraction of the full circumference can be found providing we know the angle. So, for example, if the angle was 180, then we'd have half a circumference. So in a general formula, we'll use x to stand for the angle, and then we simply need to multiply that by the formula for circumference. Now, circumference is 2 pi r. We could work it out using that, but we could also use a simplified version, because this 2 and will cancel into our 360. So the easy formula is x divided by 180 times pi times the radius. And in any question, the radius will have to be given for you to work this out. So suppose x was 30 and the radius was 8. Then the uh, arc length, so we'll call that arc length L, L would equal 30 over 180 times pi times 8. And you could do the rest on your calculator. Now, if you're going to find the full circumference of the sector, and I'll draw the whole sector out in red so you can see what I mean, then not only are you going to have the arc length, but you're going to have to add the two radiuses. So it will be the two radiuses plus the length for the circumference of the sector. So we'll work out the full perimeter um, of this sector. So the perimeter will equal 7 plus 7 plus L. So we'll write L there, where L will equal 48 from 180. You'll know that from the previous bit of this video. Times pi times the radius of 7. And I now need to do that on a calculator. So you can see I've inserted the calculator display to show you how I've done that. We need, finally, simply to round it off to three significant figures. Notice that the third significant figure is a four, so it won't round it up. It will leave it at 5.86 and put the units in, providing they're given. I didn't actually write them in, so I will now. And that's our answer. Uh, for the length, I must then add it to the 14. It's very easy to forget that. You can see I almost forgot myself. So if we add 14 on then, the final bit is 14 plus 5.86, and that comes to 19.86, which is the answer to this question. And I'll just highlight that in the colour so you can see that nice and clearly. So the answer, the answer then is 19.86. Don't forget to add on your 14.